Welcome to Pumpkinville. What we have is a one-third of a mile illuminated trail with like 5,000 carved pumpkins. So we have about 30 themed sets. We have them in, in the show from one pound to almost 2,000 pounds. So we've got a pumpkin for you. On any given night, we're plus or minus right at 5,000. You can see behind us that they're working diligently. They'll be working 24 seven to make sure tomorrow will be a completely different show because these pumpkins only last on average of five days. So each pumpkin will be removed three to five times during the course of the show. Just as an ice sculpture melts, these pumpkins can melt too. And that's okay because there's plenty of memories, a lot of photographs are taken of them and it gives another artist an opportunity to put another one right in its place. So it's not like the Mona Lisa that just keeps there, keeps there, keeps there. It is really like being in an art gallery, but you happen to be taking an educational stroll through the park. The pumpkin is always different and it seems that a lot of times the image seems to click with the pumpkin. The pumpkin's going to be the image it wants to be and the image is going to go on the pumpkin that it wants to be on. It's kind of unique that way. And then, uh, you know, as the pumpkin ages, it, it uh, puckers and leathers and shrinks and there's a lot of different little subtleties that start to happen. And the, image really takes an effect of being grown on the pumpkin. Like it was actually grown like that. That's the only really way I can describe it after a pumpkin's been on the trail for three or four days. It's enlightening to see what people notice and that you uh, contributed to their happiness. Something special about that, just, just that. You know the best part of it is when you, when you have a dad or a grandpa who you can see really doesn't want to be here. He's being drug out to the show. And to see some of the faces of some of the people it's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that. Or you walk the trail and you listen to people, I can't even, I thought I could carve a pumpkin. And it really does turn that, that frown upside down. I think part of it is being in the park Part of it is being with nature. I think sometimes people then start to remember something that made them feel good. And I think it just brings kind of a warmth to them and they really feel good about it. This really is giving back to the community because it's not that we're pocketing this money, it's not that it's going over here. It really is going to the improvement of our park system and it's all from, from this. And that, that makes me feel good when we can give back to the community like that and it's not costing the taxpayers anything. You know, this show is literally changing the world one pumpkin at a time. <laughs>